Okay, so today I'm gonna try this uh, spell that is supposed to make my words sweet to my lover or make his sweet to me. Listen, I don't know. I have honey and it's gonna work. So here we go. This is like Mexican Lucy. I love her. She's uh, obviously Mexican. So you take this on your finger, you go, mm, mm, como una cruz. Abre la boca, saca lengua, haz la cruz. All right, we'll see if it works. We're gonna see if it works. It's just called the honey trend. People are doing this on probably more than TikTok, but TikTok specifically here, as you saw that particular user showing what the honey trend is and what it can possibly do for you. I mean, anyone that tries it, maybe. Let's go to some details here, because this honey trend is a form of love magic manifestation. It's cast by thinking about the person whose feelings you want to sweeten towards you while drawing a cross on your tongue in the honey. Some versions include a spell or a chant said afterwards, but that seems to be uh, the optional part about this whole thing. So supposedly the spell featured in the honey trend is a good way to make someone obsessed with you. I'm not sure if you want that. Sweeten their words towards you and make yours seem sweeter to them, as well as deepen any feelings towards you uh, they may already have. Hmm. Apparently, so this is something that's uh, it's seen as witchcraft. Edwin came in here yesterday and I asked him as I was looking at this. I said, have you heard of a brujeria? And he goes, Bro, you don't want to mess with that stuff, that's witchcraft. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> this is some real stuff here. Uh, it's specific to Latino culture and it's a big no-no. As I point out at the top, everyone cannot try it though. Uh, hasn't stopped people from jumping on TikTok and doing it anyway. I mean, why do we care? Let's watch more. As you can see from some of those users, they're pointing out the danger involved. Let's go to some of those dangers. Hispanic magical practice. And in addition to the issues around cultural appropriation, it's believed by many practitioners that it's dangerous for non-Hispanic or Latino people to attempt to use this kind of magic. According to many Hispanic creators, non-Hispanic people who attempt to perform the honey trends magic are likely to experience a negative outcome. Whether that's inducing the opposite effect of the spell's intentions or otherwise coming to harm in some kind of way. Now there's other folks that are that are cautioning other non-Latinos from this method because again, either the person's gonna hate you or I don't know, a, a acme anvil is gonna <laughs> fall on your head from 100 feet in the sky. There was one manifestation coach, Valeria Foon, she explained this issue. She goes, now this method can only be done by Hispanics or Latinos, but if you want to do it and you're not Hispanic or Latino, make sure to stay protected and don't be surprised if you get karma. Or if it backfires, there's no Francesca. There's no um, there's no specificity behind what kind of thing that could happen to you outside of the person that you want to have obsessed with you actually hating you. But the other part is, what do you mean a bus? Like how? What's gonna happen to me? No, no sé, Brujería. no voy a opinar. Um, no soy Latina, pero hablo español. Tengo miedo ya. Um, I mean, look out, Hilaria Baldwin is all I have to say. Like, is she gonna mm. pick this up? If Hilaria picks it up, then it's jump the shark, you know, and we'll see. Maybe she's already done that. I don't know. There's been mm. some bad stuff that befell the Baldwins. So but uh, <laughs> it, it's very cute. Look, it's a TikTok trend, it's adorable. Um, I definitely think that the worst that can happen to you if you are not Latino is that someone will call you a cultural appropriator. Um, but look, I make like, you know, toast with honey on it every morning. <laughs> don't do it in a cross though. I don't, yeah, don't, but I eat it. Like, don't you guys all eat everything in a cross? You just up and then sideways <laughs> and then you leave like the little edges. Definitely not the crust. You know, I I, need, I don't need this, but you know what? I don't want you guys to blame me later. You guys try it and tell me if the love of your life actually comes for you. Make sure you're Latino though, just saying. <laughs>